AT&T introduces $5 day passes for LTE. I'm Jeff Bacalar, filling in for Bridget Carey. This is your CNET update. AT&T is banking that its LTE is better than hotel Wi-Fi, which isn't saying much because hotel internet is usually awful. But the company is introducing a $5 day pass that will give users 250 megabytes of data usage, which isn't really enough to have a lot of fun on the internet, like streaming an HD movie, for example. But it might be a better deal than what you'd normally pay to get online at an airport or a hotel. So are you ready for the next generation of video games? The PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One are just around the corner, but Sony is now offering pre-orders on two PS4 games through the PlayStation 3's store on the PlayStation Network. Right now, future PS4 owners can grab Knack and Warframe in preparation for November 15th when the PS4 goes on sale. But let's be honest, what exactly is the point of pre-ordering a downloadable game anyway? Hulu is making its way to the Nintendo 3DS family of systems, which also includes the 2DS that the company released this month. Users will need a Hulu subscription, which will set you back $8 a month, or you can try the service out for free with a one-week trial. SwiftKey, the ultra-popular virtual keyboard alternative for Android, has just released a beta version 4.3, which brings with it a major update to the software. Layouts for Living will give users more flexibility in where they'd like to position the keyboard and can assign certain locations for specific applications. The keyboard can be moved around, resized, split into two, and much more. Now, does basic math still make your head hurt? Well, worry no longer as a tip calculator has been built into Google's search functionality. Users can simply type in, what is the tip for X amount of dollars? And Google will then adjust for the number of people in your party and the percentage you'd like to leave. Now, unfortunately, it can't compensate for the guy who didn't order any drinks, only had a side salad, doesn't want to pay as much as everyone else. It won't, it won't do that. Don't forget, we'll have CNETers live on the ground at Tuesday's Apple iPad event. So be sure to visit CNET.com for all the breaking news. That is your tech news update. For more details, head on over to CNET.com slash update. You can follow me on Twitter. From our studios here in New York, I'm Jeff Bacalar.